Was there Lincoln when you were here? What? No, Lincoln was closed. Okay. How'd you, I'm surprised you know that. Well, my what? mom went here. You graduated oh, in what year? I was 87. Okay, so she would have been here right around that time. Now you're making me feel old. Okay, we know where you learn the best, but where'd you learn to fly like that? Uh, I don't know, probably from my mom. <laughs> hey everybody, Kevin Lynch here. I'm here with the newest Timberwolf player, Cole Aldrich, and uh, we're both Bloomington Jefferson grads. We're gonna spend a couple hours here walking through the hallways uh, as a former Jaguar. Cole, welcome. Thank you. And uh, you gotta give us the tour here as a former Jefferson basketball player of uh, the great high school that is Bloomington Jefferson. How's that sound? That sounds great. All right, let's go. This was the old locker. I didn't keep anything in there but books that I had to go to class <laughs> well, and I just left books. them in That's there. Right. That's yeah. right. How about where you used to sit in the lunchroom? This is the cafeteria at Jefferson. One of my favorite areas was the snack attack. Snack attack right here. They had the lady, she made the best cookies around. And you could always come up and you'd buy a cookie for a quarter. So we'd always try to kind of be like in this little area and she could just kind of sneak up in line and <laughs> Get your cookie. I would and go imagine to class. you ate your share of cookies <laughs> back in high school, right? I, I did, yeah. The chocolate chip was my favorite. I gotta ask you about this. I was at this game. This is at Williams Arena, and that was a quarterfinal game in the state tournament, your senior year. So tell me about that game. Aldrich, too easy. It was my last game in high school, and you know, it was a sad day, but an exciting day because the next chapter was starting. Let's look go over here, Cole. Look at the Jefferson Athletic Hall of Fame. What do you got here? What do you, what do you think of this? I mean, someday soon you're going to be up here and it's, uh, you're going to be very <laughs> proud. One more I, honor. I hope that I'm like right in one of these spots right next to you because that would be a good company to be in. <laughs> There's been a lot of great athletes here, uh, not just basketball players, but obviously the Jefferson Hockey has been a dominant program for a long time and a number of other athletes too. So I'm very proud to be up here and part of a, a great athletic tradition. Big man in the middle, number 45, Jefferson's all-time leading scorer and rebounder. There he is, the seven-footer Cole Aldrich. Yeah, you just can't give him enough credit for what he's done with the Jaguars over the years. Talk about what your favorite memories are coming back into this gym. I think just the, the relationships that I created. You know, three of my best friends are still guys that I talk to that we played high school ball together. And I think it speaks volume because, you know, playing at so many different levels, you know, to, to still have those guys as, as some of my best friends, you know, it, it's a lot of fun. We always reminisce. Talk about winning the national championship. What are your favorite memories of that experience with Kansas? It was crazy. You go from being a four-year starter and, you know, I was a McDonald's All-American to now being one of seven McDonald's All-Americans on, on our team in, in Kansas. And I played all 40 games. I think the most memorable game was probably the Final Four against North Carolina. This high-scoring Carolina team without a basket. Seven minutes and Aldridge says, get that out of here. I didn't know if I was going to play or not, but coming into the game, we got in foul trouble, and coach probably was just like, oh, boy, I, you know, we got to throw him out there. We, got, we need another body, and <laughs> really, I don't know what's going to happen. And, you know, I just went out and flourished and had a great time, played well, and you always got to step up when that opportunity comes. And we had guys go down with foul trouble, and I was just able to step in and, and fill that void. Was there a moment ever at Kansas where you kind of thought, okay, I think I'm turning into a, a player that's going to be good enough to get drafted and move on to the next level, which is the NBA? Well, in high school, I think it was my junior year is when they finally put that, you can't go from high school to the NBA, which, I mean, if I would have done that anyways, I would have been <laughs> way over my head. But you just kind of learn and understand, you know, once I moved away, I still rooted for Minnesota, you know, and I, I said in my press conference when I signed with the Wolves was just because I was in another city, I wasn't trying to keep tabs on how the Wolves were doing or how the Gophers were doing or how the Vikings or, you know, I, I grew up here. This is my hometown and I take pride in it and, you know, just being around here, coming back every summer, you know, it was special to me.